Hey guys, it is Monday, August 28th. Now, this might be the ending part of this vlog, I think. Like, it's been a little bit more than a week, but I'm just like, there's some times where there's nothing to add. So, I just don't record certain days. This is not even in my opinion also. I, like, I just, I do have a lot of opinions to go for from this video. Maybe I'll make a separate my opinion. Which, yes, will be coming back. I realize there's two pre-recorded episodes that I need to edit. So that will be up. I'm finally, hopefully, getting back into doing the channel a little bit. It will still take some time. As I said, i got to get right into the mood to do a lot of recording. I also found out there's a lot of, like, there's, there's, there's like 260, I think, gigabytes worth of space left, is what it said, which is a lot in some ways. But there's still, it's still compared to the 900 I had. I don't think I'll ever get back to that. But compared to what I had, that's like very little. So I'm just trying to clear space as well. And I found videos I've never edited or upload. So I'm going to mainly focus on those first at this point And getting them like distributed in a way. This month, sadly, there's probably not going to be a jazz reviews. But next month, I will get it out. Back to, to the rug Angelica knows best. I have, as I said, I haven't been quite into it. Like, into the, like, making videos in the last several weeks. And, I mean, I could get it out at the very, very end. Because I think, I guess it's 31 days this month. But I would have to rush extremely. And I don't want to put that, like, on the channel. I, th I think I do try my best with these video or these TV reviews because I want to do as best as I can with them, with what I have and my ability and know-how. So if I just, just quickly did it to get something out, that wouldn't say much of me. So I, you might get a couple in the next week or so. Like I think maybe this week too or the end of this week or the beginning of the next week you're going to be getting another... Red Rescue Team. I found a few episodes I never uploaded, including a lost episode 11. I didn't really thought I uploaded that. Like, I just, I was, I, I didn't notice it until I was, like, it went from 1 to 15, and I uploaded episode 16, which I didn't know I had made either. So, I have, I have episode 11, which I said you'll get that earlier this week, so what it, do that as a lost episode. Might as well make a joke about it. There was 17, 16 and 17. So I did not know I had the two old, the two re more recent videos. I don't know how I didn't know. I had it all made. Like, all I had to do, I think, was convert it. I think. Uh, I'm not 100% sure it may have already been converted, too. So that would be, yeah, that's even worse. But... Will this say my brain is, like, like, lately my brain has just been sort of, like, on and off, in a way, like, like, and I'm not saying this as an offense, like, of any sort, I'm not even going to use the, the foul language of it, but in the last three or four weeks, I almost didn't, like, give a, you, you kind of get what I mean. Not going to include that word in there. As I said, there's already things going on with YouTube that I don't want to risk it. Like, and as I said, don't t try not to take it the wrong way. It's not that I don't care about you guys or that I don't still love this channel. Or it, or this channel still doesn't mean something to me because it does. But lately, I don't think I really cared much about anything. To the point where I've also felt a let what is it felt that I let a lot of people down like as I said like this yeah I should put this in the I should put a disclaimer just before this clip I know I'm saying this now at the four minute mark but I really should and if you've seen it already then you know I just added that in as a last thought that this is going to be a, a feelsy vlog, part of the vlog, or a, a kind of a long wind it, just so you guys know, because it's already four minutes and I'm barely getting into it, you know what I mean, into what I'm saying, like, 
Now, I don't even know what to call it. I know some people would, might, some people might look at me and say, that sounds like depression. And I'm not saying that it might not be. I might not have a little bit of depression. That probably is the case. But I do have quite a few moments of happiness. Like, strange to say, but I have moments of contentness, too. Like, I'm not saying everyone is the same with their depression. Some are extremely suicidal and always have to be on, like, a watch. And some just feel that their whole world, like, they're still, like, they're, they still don't... I don't know how to say it. Like, as I said, there's different cases like some might just say oh I don't really like this when someone would normally like something and I think I'm in well maybe I'm in a little higher than that boat more, or more severe than that boat I'm at a point where all I really want to do is lay around and watch videos and you think well are you enjoying those videos do you get some satisfaction or from it yeah as I, like when I'm saying yeah, I mean like there's moments where I'm just laying there. So that's like that's the point. Like, and I said I don't want anyone watching this to take this the wrong way. But for example, work. For a big example, obviously I've been going through a lot of illness, which is all true, right? So like, I would never lie about something that big, right? But I think my stomach and my allergies have put me so down that I don't even want to think of things like my channel or work and I feel so bad because work actually is, I mean work especially I mean I know this sounds bad again because some people will be like oh where's this episode of this or Where's this video? And I appreciate you guys a lot. But. And I'm not saying you guys aren't real. You are. I know you're real people. That's not what I mean. The people at work. I usually have to. Get in contact with. Like I know. Like I have. I know them more on a daily. Not daily. I know it's two times a week. But it's still more of a. Face to face. Association. So, I feel worse about letting people like that down. So, I also feel that maybe, since I've been off work, that my depression, or what if you, that's what you want to call it, put me in a state where I didn't really care about anything. Because, like, I said, it, it was okay at first, right? Like, I mean, I was legitimately, not that I, my stomach isn't legitimately sick, as that I am, but I was legitimately sick with, like, an infection, right? It was something that was completely out of my control, like, and I, what, no, I wasn't nuts, right? It wasn't my anxiety causing that, or my depression causing that. I, I'd, I'd never been diagnosed with depression, but pe all people have some sort of depression, no, before, just, just before I get back on that topic, some people might say, hey, not everyone has depression, just like some people would find it offensive when someone says, oh, everyone has a little autism in them. Now, there is a difference between those type of scenarios. No, not everyone has a little bit of autism in them. It, it's, it, it's a disability that certain people are born with, with depression, Everyone can feel depressed, is what I mean. So when I say my depression, I don't mean I was diagnosed with a severe depression or that I am copying someone else or belittling someone else who has a legitimate clinic depression. That is a whole different story. So that, that now that is clear. I'm pretty sure that, like, it was okay at first, as I said, then the longer I was off and the more my anxiety went up, the more depressed I felt because I was depressed because I was happy when I could stay home because of how bad I felt. I felt essy, I'll just say, 
that way, you know, I felt essy for not for not wanting to be for being happy about it. Like I wanted to be happy there, right? Like as I said, like I was like to my aunt one day, if I could be anywhere but where I was, which was the bathroom, by the way, I'd if I'd ray rather be there than be there where I was. And the thing about me is that I barely or rarely stick to the good things in my mind. It, it's not anything like suicidal thoughts or or homicidal, like, you know what I mean, nothing like that. When I say the good things and the bad things, I mean, let's say I went to a restaurant with my family and I really enjoyed myself. And then, let's take, I went for a car ride and I got hit really bad and I couldn't get where we were going. Now, these two scenarios are fictional. Those are just talk say. I would hold on to the car ride scenario rather than the fun time I had at the restaurant with my family and friends. Like, almost all of those good scenarios I would have, like that, or if I had a sleepover with a friend, which I did years ago and I really enjoyed it, those memories aren't ever the first memories I have in my head when I have to do something that causes me anxiety. It is never, oh, well, I went to this restaurant and I had a great time, there was no problems, or I had someone, a couple of people stay over at my house, or I went over to someone else's house for a sleepover, which I actually did 10 or so years ago. Yeah, I think that was it. About 10 or so years ago, I went to a sleepover at one of my best friends. There were several people there. Well, there was five people, seven including the adults. So there were seven people in the whole house. And I enjoyed it. And I do, like, as, I could, as, as I'm fine right now talking to you about it, I say it so fondly. But if I have anxiety, if someone says, well, do you want to go and spend the night at my other aunt's house, right, even if there's no one there, I might think of any incident that happened that was negative, no matter how long ago it was. And I don't know if there's a word for this. Like, this mindset. For the, those people who have either can't or st really struggle in better case scenarios to hold on to the positive in, neg in negative situations. And that's the thing. Like, I've had really good days at my workplace. Like, I enjoyed it. I laughed. I felt really good. But I just can't seem to put that all at the front of my mind. Now, that's something I hope to talk to a therapist or psychiatrist or whoever you're watching what they call it. I mean the more professional of the professions. Like, you kind of get what I mean. I hope to talk to them whenever I get one about this. And I don't know if there is a name for that. That could be severe OCD as well. But I think there was another word for that particular mindset. Not like disability, but mindset and I might maybe I'll look that up because like whatever it is I probably do ha okay I know it sounds silly when I say I probably do have it right because not everyone has something just because it sounds similar but I would probably be a f in my case I'd probably be a full textbook example of it like because literally like I also like whenever I I'm trying to think of how to say it like that affects the way I make my decisions. I can almost never think straight. And I also hate that it just sounds like I don't care when that is furthest from the truth. It may not always come out or show, but it way back in my mind or even at the forefront of my mind at all times, I think about what I could have done. And but that never, like, no matter how many times I've had those thoughts or had good memories, and I'm not saying that, it's not that I never think of good memory, the good times. As I said, I talk about it, and I do. I do when I have no reason to worry, and I really look back on it. So, I mean, I could still remember good memories. Like, I don't, it's not like I have all bad, because I know I don't. 
It's just in the worst times, it doesn't help. Like, it's fine and good when I can have all these happy memories when there's no reason to use them. But when the time I need to think of that the most, it's like, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. I don't want to say this without being offensive to some people. But you know how, okay, this is going to be, the example is going to be sort of toxic friends, or friends that aren't really good friends. They're there for those fun moments, and you really enjoy it. But when you meet those friends the most, they're not there. No, like, that's pretty much it. Like, they're there, you're, they're there during your happiest memories almost, but when you're in your most low, they're gone. Now, again, as I said, said, for some people who don't get it, that is an example. Like, it, it, it's, I know it's a funny one, isn't it? As in, I don't even really know what to call, call what I'm going through. Any word would be an impression or something. Because I, I can, like, enjoy things. Like, I'm getting back into doing the channel a little bit. And I'm trying to maybe, when I get anxiety, not to think of it as much. And that, like, that's try. Because that is very difficult. Like, I've also been struggling sleeping because of this. Sometimes not getting to sleep till as late as 6. It's, if I'm lucky before that if I'm lucky I fall asleep at one so like and that's because my mind was just so full like so like it's funny how during the day almost nothing goes on up there I feel okay I like I'm thinking and I am alive but like nothing and then at night it's like someone just turned on the stereo and there's a party in my head I'm sure some of you can relate to that and that's another thing that causes me anxiety my stomach my allergies will I get a decent enough sleep where I could be aware when I'm at work like all those things because like like I'm gonna try tonight to just try to shut okay not like I know no one can really shut their brain off but I mean just to kinda make it as blank as it can be like if something that causes me anxiety or or excite like anxiety whether good or bad or like excitedness then I'll just have to try to blanket down a little bit I don't know if what they call that peace of mind or clear I don't know there's like a certain method where you just just try just try not to think like I said I know that's silly to say like like I don't even know how to explain it more of the dull it down type of thing where if you would be thinking of a TV show for example that would cause you to like oftentimes I think of things that I want to research and that's like the worst thing so like if I'm thinking of like of a certain show I want to watch or a certain thing for a game I want to play I might just have to try to completely stop the only issue with that is that eventually I might worry that I'm going to forget when I want to look up and it's funny because it seems for me a lot of things that come up in my mind, right, are very important to me. Like how some people might think, oh, I want to see what's, who's, who's starring in this show or who's playing this character on the show. And they'll say, oh, darn, oh, well, I can't do this now. If they forget, they'll probably say, oh, well, it was annoying, but whatever. For me, it's like a big urge that I just gotta fulfill in some way for it to go and whether I like take the second even though I should be sleeping to go okay tomorrow like this put something a quick thing that would remind me of that to give my mind ease so like I'm trying different I'm gonna try different methods like I know I can't completely break my mind if it's that important to me so I would have to think of a substitute that would only take seconds and not waste any time like if I like for example if I even even if someone could argue well it would take you a few seconds like to look it up if it was that bad 
once I get on there, it's hard for me to get off. That's the thing, my mind often gets distracted and I lose track of time. So as it's like, there's all these things, it doesn't, like, if I'm going on to a word pad, for example, like on my iPhone and notepad, I could do that and be finished. But if I go onto the internet to research what I would write down for the next day, I could be on that and then on Facebook in the next 20 seconds. Or I could stay on that site for a half hour or more at a time. So, like, I said, like, I know it's silly me going and talking all about that with you type of things with you guys, but at the same time, it gives me a what time way to look back. And that way, if I ever really need it to explain to someone how it was like, like, it seems like I'm more reflective when I'm not, when I don't have to have someone there watching, waiting for an explanation. Like, if I talk it all out like this, I tend to explain it better. Even if it's just not, even if it's only a little bit better. So, like, I've, well, the week wasn't, like, the worst. Like, I got some videos done, and although there is one final thing I finally remembered that one main reason I was going on here was to talk about YouTube just a little bit. Okay, I'm glad that my videos aren't completely getting blocked worldwide. Great. But this new system, whether it's new or not, but it's think it, I really think it is. This new system where they're trying to block, not block, but stop revenue from ads because it may not be ad friendly. Okay, there's some things I understand. Like, when they did that with the Walking, one of the Walking Dead videos, Content could be quite, you know, like, The Walking Dead, the, ep the video it blocked was about Rebecca dying, Walking Dead Season 2, Rebecca dying, I'm sure there were a few others of The Walking Dead, I saw plenty of them being blocked, but one in particular that stood out, in which I understood, was, I think she died after having the baby, and all that, it was, it was graphic, so I can see advertisers not wanting to represent that. Fine. Another video that I uploaded just recently, which was my Gamers Pickup 14, which is available for you to see if you do want to see it, so you can check that out. I know, advertising it right in my video, but who doesn't? But anyway, I got the re ad revenue blocked because apparently there was ads from other companies on my video. You know what they're referring to? The pictures I refer to, the pictures I use to show the games. Now, I know you could, like, I know a lot of the time, if I do have a physical copy of something, I'll show it as the physical copy. But it, otherwise, I can't do that. I need some type of picture to represent what I bought. I'm not trying to put ads on my video. Like it's not it's doesn't it's not like the game says pick it up now. Right? So yeah, that was a noise. I don't know where that went. Like sure it said it said the name of the game and the company that made it. If if that if it did at all. But it was not an ad. It, like I wasn't advertising something else on my channel. Trust me, there's there's people who do that, and I know. But I'm pretty sure robots are going through that again. I'm debating, though, whether to get a review of that. Because I could still lose. Like, really, they're clearly not ads. Seems like quite a bit of my content might end up being... Not that it's blocked, which I am thankful for. But it is very limited for money. And I don't really care too much about money, but if I can get this that little bit, it does help. I mean, okay, I said there's some things I understand. Some videos I completely understand. But that one video, and probably those other ones of the same type genre, will probably be blocked because they think it's an ad on my video. 
I, yeah, I want to be able to show you guys in some way what I got. Like, I always did it that way. Like, if I didn't have a physical copy of something, I would use a picture to represent it. I might have to just see if there's any other way to do it. Whether I can go on to my account. Then again, I don't want to give away all that either, so... There's really not much I can do. If someone can think of something, then... Leave it down below, because... Some of that, like, YouTube... I mean, I said, it's, it's been my life for almost about four years now. Yeah, almost five years, actually, in January. I believe it'll be five years, so... Almost five years now. And... But I'm starting to wonder, like, what is it even worth? Is it worth that stress? Like, should I just, like, as I said, I... I always remember it. Right? And I always make sure to keep in contact with you guys that I extremely care about as my fo as my subscribers. But sometimes I wonder, like, what is it worth? I mean, there's no other way for me to do it because there's really no other platform out there. And, like, maybe what I'll do is if I feel like it, I will. If I don't, I don't. That's just the only way I can see fit. Because a lot of people lately have just, like, not that they've completely given up on YouTube, but they've given up on expectations of it. And I think I have long since done that. Like, sometimes I, like, I'm especially sick of having to be extremely careful of what I say, what I do, what I put in my videos, which, now that I, now thinking of it, it's almost impossible. Because simple thing like things like pictures to represent a game or a TV or a movie has an issue. Like, anyway, guys, I know this was long-winded, but hopefully you'll see that that card be below, so you or above, you'll see. So I'll see you in the next clip.